so that's the um, the carving side of it uh, done. Just needs finishing now. It's still a little bit furry in places. And um, what I intend to do now is actually make a frame uh, for this to be recessed into um, of a different material. So this is a dark wood, oak. Uh, this is pine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is sculpt the inside out to make a recess for this to go down in. Then um, do a pattern on the face edge and um, machine around the outside. Uh, this is a classic example of oh dear. Not a good start to the new year. Of course, uh, when I wrote the program, the material should have been in this orientation. Um, but hey, there you go. We all make mistakes. <laughs> so, I've got a better piece of wood anyway. And um, we're going to have another go out of this. Okay, I've got the uh, new piece of board on the table now. Um, I notice it's that much thicker, and I've got a, a waste piece of board on the underside of it. it presents me a new problem. Uh, I've now got to alter the height of the motor in its uh, fixing. So um, I thought I'd show you this. So the, these motors in this, this fixing is, is adjustable uh, to give me the extra clearance I need. So all you do is slacken off clamp. necessary to just get a screwdriver and just prise it open slightly and push the motor up or let it slide down and that in turn alters the, the height of the motor above the work and really it's as simple as that and that's all that's to it
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you actually take the corners out.